Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we're looking at a Xeno Warrior Princess trading card game theme deck. This one is Heroic Deeds. These are great starter decks for the game. It does use the ARC system, um, which is uh, interchangeable with other ARC system games like Jim Lee C23 and Hercules Legendary Journeys. So let's get right into this and see what we got. This is produced by Wizards of the Coast. These are 40 card starter decks and should have everything you need to get playing. As always, they give you two inserts. One of them is uh, just your basic rules. It's a real simple game to play. So they only give you one little sheet of paper to kind of get that across. It's got illustrations on it. The rules are straightforward. Paper quality on these is garbage though. So be aware of that. Um, and plan accordingly because those will come apart pretty quickly all right your other sheet here that's all folded up is just a insert with a checklist of all 180 cards a glossary of terms and some images and description of the setting and characters that sort of thing and the different decks um, so that's pretty useless all right, we got our cards here. Let's see what we've got. First, we have an um, Eastern Village green resource, a Dagger of Helios, Entrance to the Other Underworld blue resource, Peasant Village green resource, a Captured Forgotten Temple blue resource. Divination, an Amazon Village resource, Priest of the Furies, Giant's Burial Ground blue resource, Gaelic Slave, a Greek Forest, another Divination, a Temple of Ares blue resource, Amazon Village green resource, Xena Leads the Troops, Altar of Ares, Celtic Warrior, another Eastern Village, a Bevy of Virgins, Entrance to the Underworld Resource, Lynch Mobs, a Peasant Village, Delphinian Seer, Forgotten Temple, Outlying Village, Lynch Mobs, Giant's Burial Ground, Major Jealousy Rage, Another Greek Forest, Fury's Madness, Another Temple of Ares, Talented Physician, Poseidon's Whirlpool, uh, Diversionary Tactics, uh, Charian's Tour, or Carrion's Tour, I don't know how you pronounce that name. Alert Longbowman Squad, a Priest of Dahak, Dake, something like that. There's Ares, and lastly, Army of Ares. Now, you'll notice that what's missing from the box that has Xena's picture on it are lots of Xena cards. There's one that we've seen that has her picture on it in this deck. So that's a little disappointing. So I guess if you're playing the Xeno Warrior Princess game, get get ready to see a lot of extras from the show. Cause I didn't see a lot of main characters in there. There's one with Gabrielle, uh, the, the captured card. And uh, the I think that there was only one with Xena on it. And there was one with Ares. So, yeah, it's a pretty straightforward, simple game, though. Card quality is pretty good. You'll want to put them in protective sleeves, of course. Um, but that's the 40 card Heroic Deeds um, theme deck for Xena Warrior Princess. It's a simple game if you're new to trading card games and collectible card games. Um, it might be a good introduction set, but other than that, it's really just the nostalgia factor. So that'll do it for this episode. 
As always, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next time on What's Inside.